My name is Scott Curran. I'm with Going Man. Today we'll be going over the Phantom 4 RTK processing steps in PIX40. Uh, this is the home screen after you open up PIX4D. Uh, so when you want to start a new project, um, you will click the new project button here. Uh, you will name your project. Um, set it as a new project. You do have the ability to fly big sites uh, and process each step, uh, step one, and merge those projects together. Um, hit the next button. Uh, this screen is where you're going to be uh, importing your pictures from your drone flight. Uh, so you would uh, hit the add images here. Uh, you go to where you have stored those images on your desktop. Uh, control A all the pictures. Hit open. These are all your pictures here uh, from your flight. Hit the next. <coughs> it's bringing in the EXIF data, EXIF data. Uh, this screen is your pictures. Um, they were taken in the uh, World Geodetic System 1984 or WGS84. Everything up here you can leave alone. Uh, right away, I know uh, the uh, PIX4D pulls in the RTK corrections automatically uh, when you import the pictures. If you look here, horizontal accuracy, uh, your vertical accuracy here, uh, you would hit next. Uh, here is uh, the screen where you're going to select your output coordinate system. Uh, so uh, here you want to change this from meters to feet. Uh, make sure this site was flown in North Carolina State Plain. NAD 83. Uh, right here you can see it was auto detected uh, North Carolina State Plain. If it is, does not uh, auto detect the correct coordinate system, uh, you can always go down here to known coordinate system uh, and type the state you're in. And it will pull up everything associated with North Carolina. I'm in North Carolina State Plain, so I would click this, which matches my auto detect. I'll just use the auto detect. Under the advanced options with the Phantom 4 RTK, uh, you want to make sure that under the advanced coordinate options, uh, you select geoid height. Uh, make sure this is zero, zero. Hit next. This screen is the uh, different maps you can do. Uh, you could do a 3D map, you could do a 3D model, or you can do ag multispectral maps. Uh, also within PIX4D, you can do a thermal camera uh, or thermosaic. Uh, but with the Phantom 4 RTK, we're going to use the 3D maps and hit finish. And it pulls in all your pictures from your drone flight. Uh, if I click each one of these red dots, it's a picture associated with that red dot. So this is the first step uh, in PIX4D, so you would make sure you un unclick step three, unclick step two. Uh, I go into processing options and you can go into set, um, I unclick the generate author mosaic uh, in the quality report. I do not need to see it in my quality report. Uh, you want to make sure your calibration method is standard. Both of these have all. Uh, I would hit OK here. Uh, right now you can go ahead uh, and process step one. So I would hit start here uh, and wait for this to finish uh, all of the eight steps in step one.